everyone, it's me Eden. So today we have a story time event at a Barnes & Noble that's local to us and it's gonna be amazing. I can't be Belle today, I'm gonna be Moana, but we have a lot of people going today as well as someone coming to assist who's gonna be taking over Moana while I go back to mainly playing Belle. You wanna say hi, Lucas? Hi! <laughs> And then this is Hi. Miriam. She's our new Snow White. Can you tell? <laughs> and this is Michaela. She's our new Elsa. <laughs> and y'all know Annie. Hello. And this is our beautiful assistant Minnie today. Hi. So we a little stressed because we don't want to be late because daylight saving time snuck up on us. And so we're all rushing to get ready, but we'll get it done. We'll get it taken care of. It'll be fine. <laughs> So it's after the event, uh, we didn't get much before because we were in a mad rush, but that event was super cute and I have to share my funny story first. So we had our lovely assistant Minnie Hi. today and um, I'm actually training her to be the new Moana. I'm going to go back to maining or just being mostly primarily Belle. And, um, so she's going to be our Moana, and I wanted her to come see this event because of that. And a little girl looked at Minnie, she was running our magic <laughs> box, and goes, You look like Moana. And we're both like, Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so that was great. Did you guys have any cute kid things? Uh, we had a lot, a of, lot of little girls yeah. were dancing with us. Which they, was really and cute. they wanted us. girl would not let go of my hand. Oh yeah, I remember her. Um, there was a lot of trying to find Olaf. <laughs> yeah, like, finding Olaf. Like, finding like, Pascal. For some reason, like I was like Olaf's not here, but then they decided that he was, and they were gonna I, look for him. And I was like, oh. Okay. I I think it was like, because sure. um the the girl that was in the Aurora dress when we were like going and finding him, uh -huh. I said something about how like I uh, oh, made it spout like. It, like I feel bad because I was like, ah, you didn't hear me say that. Because <laughs> like I, I was like, I made it so that he could be here, but like I think he left. So <laughs> he just left. He, he walked. Like, Olaf has he, left the too, building. Like, I him like, even with my powers. Yeah. Aaron, it was too warm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. and then, and um, we, yes, and there's a magic wand, wand, wand and, and people, yeah, yep, dressed as dancing. princesses, mm -hmm. and I also liked, um, the find the Pascal thing that the kids got really focused on, because what we were saying is, because Pascal's a chameleon, he probably is blending in with some of the book covers, and so yeah. these kids made it their life mission oh, gosh. to go look at every book cover and see if Pascal was hiding. It was a level of commitment that was impressive. <laughs> Oh my god. So that was really cute. And we had a great time. We sang all the songs multiple times. And mm -hmm. um, 
read stories and stuff and the kids really liked it so it was really fun and I'm excited to come back we're gonna do this every month which is great exposure and it's a really fun event it's a nice easy low-key event and um, the people at the bookstore were so nice to us and we had a lovely little reading nook and um, yeah and so that stage was so helpful with my cape oh my god yeah. it was like because yeah. there was the carpet and I kind of like drag like try and drag it so that it looked like a cape but like I was very, it was very easy to be on the stage and look like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was great. But yeah, the kids loved it and big hit. Good fun. Um, we gotta go home now. Gotta say, I do see the allure of these little ankle things and walking around barefoot. So I have been de-wigged and everyone has left and I'm putting away the costumes for now until I can take them back to the storage unit. But uh, what I really appreciate when we're walking back from a gig is getting cat called out a window by some random person in the other building. Love it. Um, I, there are no words. Did not enjoy, didn't appreciate, but you know, I have no idea who it was, just some random person in a building, but um, you know, people think we're there for their viewing pleasure when we're kind of, our jobs are for kids. So, kind of gross. So y'all are gonna get a nice view of me on wig capping and taking off my makeup and stuff. But um, the event went super well. Um, hello, God. Um, the event went really well. We had some really cute things. Like we were able to find obviously books of each of the princesses that were there. So we kind of got everyone was on a bookmark except for me. I resent that, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> it's just, she's so new, which is fine. Um, that was pretty cool. And, um, also, <laughs> Rapunzel found, like, music books, like, the story books that kids read that have, like, they'll play a song from one of the princesses or something as you read kind of a thing. And it was playing A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. And so basically what she did was she turned on that. But it's also surrounded by other music books, so she turned on the Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes, which doesn't turn off until you press the button again, and then proceeded to click every other music book that was around it. So it was like the Itsy Bitsy Spider and stuff like that, so they were all playing over each other. It was a lot. <laughs> it was very chaotic. Um, so that was nuts. And, um... We kind of walked around the bookstore a little bit and just saw what else was there, said hi to more people, um, and we got a really nice crowd in actually for the first time, and we even took a picture in front of the sign that was advertising us at the front of the store, so that was really fun. And I'm glad we're going to get to do this every month. I know that they, they would very much like Belle to come, which makes sense, and hopefully when I reorder her new dress in the next couple of weeks, hopefully it'll be here in time and we can do that before our big con that's coming up. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan at least. We had this really big sing-along at the end because what basically happened was we read stories, I read mine, it was really long, it's definitely meant for older kids and I know that now, so um, I won't bring that one because it's not as accessible. Um, but we read my story and because I know the story so well I was able to like, you know, go off book basically for lack of a better term and um and then we read the Anna and Elsa story and that one's really cute because it's definitely intended for younger kids it's easy to follow and the whole book rhymes which is really fun and so it's also written so that so that each girl um, says certain parts of the book. Basically, it's written like this part's by Elsa's perspective and this part's by Anna's. So it makes like the story time with both of them really fun and they really enjoyed reading that. And then we had Snow White read a story about the dwarves and cottage life, I guess. <laughs> so they really liked that. And it was just like super fun. And then after that we sang our songs. I went first and then we had Anna sing and then Snow White sang, and then we finished with Elsa because Let It Go is a showstopper. So we like to finish with that one if we can. And we like to finish with that one if we can. So um, the kids ate it up. There was also these girls that showed up about 30 minutes after the start or something. 
and um, she was dressed in an Aurora dress, and it was like a really nice Parks one. And it was very pretty, and I asked her if her three fairies made it for her. She said no, but. <laughs> um, and she was doing a lot of twirling, and another girl came as well who was, I think, dressed as some form of Rapunzel. Like, it didn't have, like, the pendant, so I don't know if it was a Parks dress or if the pendant fell off, but um, it looked like a Rapunzel dress. Uh, it had the little ribbons on the shoulder and everything, and she was super cute, and um, at the end of the event, when we were kind of just waiting for the last couple minutes, we did sing-alongs of whatever songs they wanted, so we kind of ended up just re-singing all of the songs we'd already done. We are, like, all the songs we'd already done, and um, the little girls were, like, bouncing around dancing with us in their own special ways, which was cool. I was kind of, like, doing some hula moves and stuff like that, and they really liked those. Um, so, yeah, that was really, really fun, and it was cool to have s so many different characters. Like, I, I feel like we had a good mix. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm really pumped to keep doing that gig there, because I think that's great exposure, and it's a nice, like, community thing that people get a kick out of. Um, so... Yeah, that was a good event. I have to say, I've really enjoyed being Moana, and I'm not going to give up being her by any means, but I'm really happy with my decision to go back to being Belle most of the time. Um, after reflection and everything like that about the characters and the company itself, um, and some casting changes as well, I really determined that I'd been missing playing Belle a lot. Um, she's so dear to my heart. Even though she was my second character, I started playing Snow first when I first started the company. Um, I spent so much time with Belle and really refining her character and starting to realize that she's so much like me and she's so special to me. I can watch her movie endlessly and never get bored even though I know every single line in the whole movie. Um, I just think that character and I have this really special bond and I've missed being her a lot and I don't think we should ever deprive ourselves of being characters that make us happy if we can respectfully portray them. Like I'm not saying I think a Caucasian person should play Moana because that is not right. And I always take care, even with myself and with the Moana that's coming on board next, Minnie, um, I take care to make sure that it is a person of color because I know that's really important. Representation is so important. However, with that said, if you have the ability to respectfully and with reverence to who the character is play that character, I don't think you should deny yourself that. I don't think any good comes of that necessarily. And I think that I'm just so happy when I play Belle, and I cannot wait to be her again. Um, I'm also excited to get a new dress. I spend a lot of time and money getting new dresses and wigs and costumes for my other cast members, but it's pretty rare that I get new things, so I'm really excited about that too! Anyway, today was a great event, and I love my cast so much, and I will see you next vlog! <laughs> Thanks for joining us! to make a big deal about that. Hello, Shine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>